first and I am taking my IVF meds. I am doing my very last progesterone and oil shot because I will be 10 weeks tomorrow. So no more med, well, still vitamins and supplements, but no more progesterone, estrogen, no more shots. I'm kind of, kind of excited, kind of nervous. Excited to not have to stab myself anymore. Nervous because I just want to make sure that the baby stays fine without doing shots and stuff. But the doctors say it will be perfectly fine. The placenta has taken over, so I'm going to trust them. And be glad I don't have to stab myself anymore. I'm tired right now. It is almost 6.30, I'm gonna grab a bottle of water. It is 6.30, I have to go to work, but I wanted to record this because it's my last shot. Why not? So that's exciting. So today, obviously, like I said, I'll be 10 weeks tomorrow, so nine weeks six days pregnant today i had my first ob appointment which went perfectly fine everything's good baby's heart rate was at 177 um baby looks good i got to see some little teeny tiny legs and arms got a picture from it but it, did, it didn't turn the picture didn't turn out very good when i post this, I will post the picture that I took on my phone because this is the ultrasound picture, but it's just not good quality. So I'll insert here the picture that I took with my phone of the screen. So it's a little bit more clear. And in that picture, you can see kind of like a blob and then something sticking up and that's an arm or a leg. I think it was an arm. Cause it looked like so the baby waved at me. So here we go, what am I missing? I'm missing progesterone. I'll still be taking most of my meds. I'll still be taking the prenatal, obviously, vitamin D, Baby aspirin and folic acid. What I should have done while I was taking the meds is put the ice pack on my butt. So I'm going to do that now. Looking forward to my butt not hurting so much anymore because it's just really sore. There's I got knots on both sides. It's just sore from stabbing myself with this needle for months. Almost three, two and a half. I'll let that get cold while I prep my shot. My nausea seems to be getting better. My ability to eat is starting to get a little bit better. I'm still getting full super, super, super fast. And then when I feel full, I feel like really, really, really full. And it's for like hours. But the nausea is getting better. Getting heartburn a little bit here and there. But I've had acid reflux since I was really little, so I'm used to that. And it had gotten a lot better, so I hadn't been dealing with it for quite a while. So, no complaints. Excuse me, like I said, the nausea is getting better. The tiredness isn't really getting better, but I'm back to work in the office, so I just kind of melt into my chair in the afternoon. So, 
still one ml of progesterone, but this is the last one. We still haven't announced the pregnancy, of course. And that will be happening in like three weeks. I'm gonna wait until I finish up week 12, just to be safe. And then we'll announce it to everybody who doesn't know already. So some family, mostly friends, like my aunt in Minnesota doesn't know uh, my cousins don't know. A lot of our friends don't know. Let's see if I can fit one more needle in this sharps container. I don't know. It's really full. My belly's doing weird things right now. Kind of nauseous, kind of hungry feeling. I don't know. I don't know. It's Friday, so that's awesome. I don't have to work tomorrow. I was on call this past weekend. Only got one call, but it's still annoying. So, here we go. Hopefully my butt's numb enough. Probably not. This side usually hurts lately. Here comes the triple chin and all that. Take that off, let it dry a sec. Still working on getting rid of this thing. Eventually. But it's okay right now. Doctor knows about it. Here we go. Oh yeah, wasn't numb enough. That's gonna bruise, I think that burns really bad. I had a bruise, I tried to get a picture of it, but it was on my butt, so it was kinda hard to get a picture of it that I can show anybody. I had a bruise on this side the last time it hurt like this. This hurts worse. But the bruise was... I can't really use my hands to show you right now. Probably two inches around. Right around where I did the shot. And then I noticed like a day later, a big nasty bruise. Like nothing in between, but a big nasty bruise on like my outer thigh. Like it migrated or something, but skipped a spot. I don't know. It hurt a lot. Okay, that's done. That hurt. Going out with a bang, apparently. Look at that. It fit. So let's get the paper towel in place. Not bleeding, but we'll be sore today. So that's it. Last shot for IVF. Now I'm on my own. <laughs> Making sure this little one grows and is healthy. So that's it. I'm going to get going because I'm running a little bit behind and I'm going to be to work at 7. So I will catch up with you guys next time.